Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Devil in Me. This is part two, and I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you're just jumping in, thank you. I appreciate it. Any support on this series, please smash the like button, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else. Let's go ahead and get it. And I hope everyone's having a great day today. I'm uh, just starting my work shift, if you're just now watching this in the morning. So. psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on the good accounts of the uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem? Light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnit, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Psychopath. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? Damn, wait, what? That guy killed over 200 people? What do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, 
They're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Alright, let's go, man. We're embarking on the real journey. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes it look glowy. We leave it behind it. Right, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah! Woohoo! Right. Huzzah! This is going to be great, guys. I don't know, man. I'm already getting Do weird you know where vibes. Going exactly. You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was a hundred percent your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Never. Sorry for all the mystery. Oh. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that could affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Man, I hope we keep everyone alive. Kind of liking these characters already. I am loving this game right now. I, I am truly liking it. The mystery, you know what I mean? It's like the real seeking. Service, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really, I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Driver said I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> okay so now what i'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this not with all the mist and fog there from on high we'll get a better look that's certainly um up there the, the visuals will be great and we can frame up over the mist Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. All right, first time we get actual controls of our main characters. And let's uh, do a little bit of exploring. Approach the wall near the collapse steps and press A. All right, even like with regular gameplay controlling, the sounds, the graphics, the lighting, look at the sun coming through the trees. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Hey, guys, hurry up. We're on it. 
I'll beat a jog. All right. A to vault over. Okay, so it's just kind of all basic controlling. Jesus, that is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but. Okay, so I just cut here because it looks like we did a lot of walking and climbing. And honestly, I don't want you guys to have to watch me just climb and walk for like 10 minutes. Basically, we started down at the mountain. This is where we are now. Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? Christ, what the hell is that? Dude, That's what is that? Too. What was it? I couldn't see. Some kind of explosion. Weird. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. God's name is this. Oh my God. It moved. What? The thing. It moved. Well, it looks mechanical. <laughs> Scared me. Charlie. I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on. Get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's all right. Come on, we better get back. Got him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course, 
Was it your great uncle you said that? Um, Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure, of course. Guys in a rush. What are you rushing for, partner? Something's kind of off about the driver there. I love this thrill mystery that's going on right now. Oh my god, who is that? Is that just a helper maybe for the dock? The music's getting so intense. Or it was. As soon as I say it, they let's cut get it. Let's up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here, God. This way, don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Not dress for a hike, playful. Try not to cough up a lung, Charlie. Yeah, let's be playful. <laughs> Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying? You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talk into camera, then I'll direct you from there, OK? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. OK, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. OK, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. I don't know, he's so sketchy. Not, I don't trust him. I don't trust that guy either, whoever that is. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, oh, oh my! Damn it! What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you get your baby ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my! God, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up in Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Mm. 
All right, let's go explore the island. Hey, can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, you know, you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me? That works both ways. Fine. Uh, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. There's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Watch your head. could have told us to dress for a trek. Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. here on this island? Shh. Get down. With your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on, we're about there. They didn't see us. Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. This reminds me of shit summer camps. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. You see the control panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power. Okay, so we're here at the control panel. Once again, I, I cut about another 10 minutes. It was basically all climbing again. I don't uh, exactly know why <laughs> they incorporated that into like a storytelling game, but Something I'm sure you guys do not want to see. Now it looks like we're going to have to figure out how to get over this fence here.
Maybe we can get this thing working. Jamie, can you fix this? All right, let's see here. So this needs to be on, on. There we go. Boom. God damn, I'm brilliant. <laughs> huh. 